What's up everyone, 3 Prince 747 here, back again with another video. Uh, in the past I mentioned that my wife is a preschool teacher. Um, specifically, I mentioned it when I did that ink stamp that everyone gave me a hard time about because I never showed the end result. What? What? Which I apologize for, but it went to school with her and has been there ever since. Um, I'll do another one of those in the future to show you what uh, I did and what it will be like, uh, the finished result. But now she needs a cookie cutter um, from uh, Maui, from Moana, um, his hook that he has. And she asked me to make one so she could use it for Play-Doh. So I started looking around and I came up with this site, cookiecad.com. And it has some software similar to Tinkercad. It looks pretty cool, but it does it all for you. So I went here, checked it out. You have to create an account. Um, not a big deal. It just asks you for a username and password, or you can log in through Google or Facebook, I think. Um, so all you do is go here. Um, to import your file I've got this hook here that I downloaded from online and it's better well what it, my experience is that it has to be kind of a picture like this um, a regular picture of this didn't work out at all so I went and just googled it and found this picture and imported it in and here's what ends up happening In no time at all, we've got this uh, cookie cutter ready to go. I mean, how flippin' amazing is that? That's pretty cool. And then you can download as an STL or an OBJ. Um, I downloaded both and um, just wanted to see the difference. I didn't really notice the difference between the two. Um, but, yeah, I'm really happy with with how easy this is for free. Uh, definitely want to promote this site and get it out there. I'm going to print it with six walls in carbon fiber PLA um, and a 99% infill with adaptive cubic um, infill and see how it turns out. But that's pretty awesome. All right, so here's where we landed. I printed this in PLA just to do a little test, and it turned out really good. Again, six walls, 99% infill, um, no supports, no brim. It turned out great. And then I gave it to my wife, and she said, can you make it a little bigger because the Play-Doh right here is going to get stuck and you're not going to be able to get that out. And I said, oh crap, you're right. So, I then went ahead and printed it in the carbon fiber PLA, enlarged it, and you can see that the original was so small that it didn't include the lines on the handle. And this one does. It's kind of hard to see. So, let's give this a whirl. And you know, I looked on Amazon just out of curiosity, and they have a food grade PLA. Um, it ranges from 20 bucks to 35 bucks, but I didn't realize they made that, so I'm gonna do some research into that and see uh, what that is and, and if it's really food grade, and maybe uh, start printing some cookie cutters for uh, holidays. Alright, we're all set. I don't think I've done this in about 10 years since my kids have been younger. But, that's done. We'll pull this out here. Clean up like that a little bit. I think that's what we're supposed to do. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. But this isn't going to be my headache. This is going to be my wife's headache. 
she's going to be using clay and not play-doh also so here's where i'm at this is all sticking all right so i'm going to make this a little bigger and we'll uh see how it turns out i'm going to also widen a little bit so that it's not getting stuck up in here all right everyone so if you stuck it out this long here's where we ended up this is where we started and this is where we ended up and I'm actually gonna print one a little wider because my wife just told me that she wants to make necklaces for the little girls in her preschool um, out of this out of the clay that she shapes so I'm making it a little wider just so it's not as thin right here uh, so it won't break but I think if uh We do that and then use a little putty knife to cut that out. I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm really happy with this uh, cookiecad.com. Please check it out. Um, send some traffic that way. They also sell filament. Um, site looks really cool. I'm going to go explore it some more. You can do like some birthday designs and things of that nature. Uh, so I might do another video once I go and see what else they have to offer. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will catch you on the next one.